Hey, so um, all the puppies are here Yay. and they are over there nursing uh, with Stevie. So I'm going to give them about another half hour um, to nurse a little bit more and let Stevie rest before I get her up and uh, get her clean and clean the area and change out the pads and all that good stuff. So while I'm letting them do that, I am taking care of some paperwork. So as the puppies were being born, I had my um, badass breeder delivery chart on the clipboard over there in the whelping area. Uh, and so, at, so as they came out then, I was recording the time of birth, uh, their weight at birth, their gender, whether or not they had cleft palate, um, and then their ribbon color and any notes that I needed to make. Um, so now I'm transferring that over to each puppy having their own individual neonatal care chart. Um, so I figured this would be a good time to do that while they are over there with Stevie. I'm getting lots of colostrum and good nutrition. And also, um, just to kind of let you know, Stevie, after each puppy, she had a dose of the oral cal stat. Of course, um, I called it oral cal stat. It's the oral cal plus. So she had um, some calcium supplement during labor. And then whenever she was finished, she got two of the Oxymama postnatal vitamins, and this is supposed to support lactation and recovery. Um, it's a multivitamin for dogs. And then also, um, a little bit afterwards, she did finally eat um, some food. So oh. I kind of enticed her a little bit with some pumpkin and then after she ate a spoon of pumpkin, she did eat her um, regular dog food. And so we've had Stevie on the past month, we switched her to a um, high quality like puppy feed from Purina. And so that way we knew that she was um, getting all the nutrients that puppies need and would, would be able to pass that along to her pups. And so she's been um, eating that twice a day However, she has not eaten since um, Sunday. So she didn't eat at all yesterday. And then um, this, so last night's when she went into labor, which was Monday night. And then she started at 6.30 this morning. She had her first pup. And then at 9.06, she had the ninth pup. So almost 30 minutes um, to, to have her nine pups. And so while they're over there, oh, and then anyway, she did, she finally ate. So I feel like she is bouncing back. You can tell she is one tired mama right now. Um, so let her have a break, let the dog, the puppies feed, and then we'll get everything cleaned up. And then like I said, while that's going on, I'm working on each individual puppy's neonatal care chart. And so on this chart then, uh, a lot of the information I'm just transferring over from the delivery chart, but um, I am working on ribbon color first. So this puppy had a light blue. It was a male um, yeah, a born else. March the 1st. And this particular puppy was at 8.05 AM. Birth weight, 13.8 ounces. And light blue was fifth. So from here, um, we will document weight every day for the first 14 days and then once a week to week eight. Um, we also will document the neurological, neuro, oh my gosh, I can't even talk now, I'm so tired. Early neurological stimulation exercises and then the scent introduction. And we will start scent introduction at day three, um, and then also the stimulation at day three as well, and so be able to document all of that. Um, on the delivery chart, and again, I got all of this from uh, the Badass Breeder Breeding Guide, and I cannot recommend that enough. I can't say enough good things about that. Uh, it is a fantastic resource for anybody that is breeding puppies. 
Um, but on the delivery chart also, there's an extra place for notes as far as that goes. I only had to make one. We only had one puppy that um, had some bleeding issues with their umbilical cord, but I got that taken care of um, pretty quickly. So that got that bleeding stopped and everything else went really well. Stevie did such a great job this morning. Like I could not be more proud of her. She gave birth to nine beautiful puppies. We have three females and six males, and I cannot wait to show them to you all and to introduce our um, litter theme. David and I are really, really excited about it. Um, so we can't wait to tell you all about that. So we will definitely be updating you uh, with lots of videos, lots of pictures, and kind of show you guys the, the puppy's progress. But I did wanna go through and show you guys these charts and tell you all that if you um, have a dog that is bred or you are thinking about getting into breeding, any of that, please, please, please do yourself a huge favor and get the Badass Breeder Guide because it is a phenomenal resource. Um, 40 Kennels is amazing. They've got it going on. So definitely check them out. Um, I know they're also on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so be sure you look into that. Uh, if you guys have any questions for us, please drop a comment below. Let us know. Be sure and like this video and subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. We love your support. Thank you all so much for those of you that have been following along with Stevie's progress. Um, we look forward to updating you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.